Hello, everyone. This is Hao Nan from University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Today, I would like to introduce our work, Controllable Gradient Item Retrieval to you. This is a joint work with Alibaba and Emory University. First, let me briefly talk about the motivation of our work. Traditional recommendation systems take implicit feedback, such as user click history, and then to recommend new items to customers. In this example, a white dress is recommended to the customer. Inspired by this white dress, the customer may want a similar one, but more thorough. In offline shopping scenario, it is easy for the customer to make salespersons to promote a series of products in which their degree of thorough is increasing order. And then the customer can conveniently select the most favorite one from those dresses. However, it is difficult for current recommendation systems to promote a sequence of items with gradient effect. The previous scenario can be decomposed into two stages. In the first stage, a product will be recommended um, using implicit feedbacks. In the second stage, the recommendation system will promote a sequence of products with gradient effect based on a reference item and the customer's modification. Because this is a new type of interaction, to make it clear and simple in this work, we only focus on the second stage. And in the next section, I will formally define the problem we study in this work. Problem definition. We formally define the gradient item retrieval as a retrieval problem in which the um, reference item and the modification alpha t will be composed as query. In here, alpha denotes modification directions such as less or more. T denotes the attribute such as furrow in here. And the target is to retrieve a sequence of items in which their relevance for a certain attribute is in order and the relevance for other attributes remains the same. In the next section, I will talk about the proposed method. In our work, we propose the controllable gradient item retrieval framework called CGR. It can disentangle hidden factors of items and ground thematic meanings of attributes on item representation. Here is an example. A reference item will first be mapped into hidden representation. And then according to the modification, the relevant dimension about the attribute furrow will be located. Then by increasing the modification strength gamma, the value on the relevant dimension will be changed gradually and then the a sequence of items will be retrieved accordingly. CGR models item relation data Y and item interaction data X simultaneously using the following equation. In this equation, theta denotes the parameter of CGR. T denotes the user representation. H denotes the item representation. Because the integral is hard to compute, following the paradigm of variational autoencoder, we maximize the lower bound of P theta instead of maximizing the likelihood directly. In the lower bound, the second term is the KL divergence term, and the third term aims to uh, modeling the item relationship. In the following, I will go into the detail of the two terms. According to the common cause rule of graphic model, we can further decompose the variational distribution Q theta into the following form. And then we can decompose the KL divergent terms by using the decomposed variational distribution. 
In the KL term, if the prayer is factorized by penalizing the KL divergence, we can enforce the user representation DU and item representation HY, HI to be factorized. Specifically in here, we choose standard multivariate normal distribution as prior. Due to the time efficiency requirement of recommendation system, we keep a, a item representation table instead, instead of inference um, item representation from user item interaction data x subtract ui each time. And then we only keep the first KL term and remove the second KL term. Although this simplification has been used in previous work, we empirically demonstrate that we can still make sure the item representation is factorized. CDR models the item relation data Y using the following equation. An example of item relation data is in the following. For example, um, by comparing item I and item three, we can construct the item relation data Y subscribe one three. In the equation, the upper left term is represent the target item and the upper right term denotes the reference item with correction modification. In the bottom, the lower right term denotes the reference item with strong and correct modification. Basically, this is uh, we modeling the item relation data with a contrastive method. Our intuition is reference item with a correct modification is closer to the target item I prime than the reference item I with a wrong modification. The capital F theta denotes the sparse attribute encoder. Or intuition is an attribute only capture part of the information of an item. Therefore, it should be only ground to part of the dimension of the disentangled item representation. That's why we enforce the item representation to be sparse. This is a framework of C CJR. The left part um, is de designed based on version autoencoder. It will learn um, disentangled item representation. The right part will learn a sparse attribute representation. And in the middle part, the sparse attribute representation will be aligned this item representation. In the middle part, the item relation data will also be used as weekly supervision signal to help the disentanglement part. In the next section, I will talk about the experiments of our work. Our experiments aim to answering the following research questions. First, does CGR achieve gradient item retrieval? Second, does CGR outperform other competitors in the item retrieval task? Third, can CGR achieve factorized item representation? We conduct experiment on three data sites, Ali Shop Tech, MovieLens 25 million, MovieLens 20 million. The Ali Shop Tech data set is collected from Alibaba e-commercial platform Taobao. We adopt three baselines in this work. They are content-based item retrieval text, image residual gating, deep supervised course model retrieval. To answer the first research question, we promote a new evaluation matrix mean gradient score called MGS. MGS consider um, consistent score and restrict, restrictively score. 
the consistency, consistency score and restrictiveness score are defined in the following equation. Consistency score will measure when the hidden factor of an attribute changes, what extent the attribute will change accordingly. And restrictiveness score measures when the hidden factor of an attribute changes, what extent other attribute will keep the same level. In our experiments, we show that our proposed model CGR can outperformance all those three baselines um, under the mean gradient score matrix. To answer the third research question, we used to commonly use the evaluation matrix to measure the item retrieval performance. The first is hit rate at K, and the second is mean reciprocal, reciprocal rank. In the experiment, we can see our method can outperform all those three baselines under the hit at 20, hit at 50, and mean reciprocal rank matrix. To answer the third research question, we measure the level of independence by calculating the uncorrelatedness of item representation using the following equation. From the experiment, we can get the following, following conclusion. First, by only keeping the KL term about user representation, CGR can still enforce factorization of item representation. Second, CGR outperformance baselines on both consistency and restrictiveness score. Conclusion. We identify and define the task of grading item retrieval. Second, we propose a weekly supervised disentanglement method that can ground semantic meanings to dimensions of a disentangled representation space. Third, we empirically show that our method can achieve gradient retrieval on both public and industrial data sites. Thank you for listening, that's all.